Okay, so um, part two. Let's get into it. So the Saints. Saints. All right, let's get the Saints over with. They're in cap hell. Um, I heard, um, what is his name? Nick Wright. Nick Wright mentioned this a few years ago about, um, it's a wasp trying to get into my apartment. I don't know what is going on. But <laughs> they're in cap hell. They push money so far back that um, they're kind of in cap hell right now. And they're not able to sign nobody or for real like that. So the Saints are going to be in this BS for a long time. The the Saints kind of remind me of the Brooklyn Nets, as where they put so many chips to the table at first and then it crapped out, and now you're like, ooh. So, yeah, that's 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 the Saints for you in a nutshell. Um, so the Vikings, the Vikings have a new quarterback. Um, that I cannot remember his name right now. I it was on the tip of my tongue, but they have a new quarterback after losing Kirk Cousins, which they shouldn't have lost Kirk Cousins. Shouldn't have lost Kirk Cousins because. Um, Atlanta is some idiots. If you want to hear what I had to say about Atlanta, uh, the link will be at the top and at the end of the description hit there in the first video. Um, new era, you got you got a top two receiver um, and JJ. So think you'll be fine on offense. But the thing with the Vikings, you just have to be able to close games. Um, my friend is a huge Vikings fan. And I'll see if I can get him to send it to me again. But there's this stat where the Vikings have like, in the last 10 years, 10, 15 years, they're like fourth or fifth on um, the most wins list. And the Vikings have, haven't been to a Super Bowl since, what, the 90s? So, like, the Vikings just have to figure it out and close. They just have to figure it out and close. But they're in a really, really tough division now with who I might pick to come out the NFC. We'll see when I make that video. So, it's going to be interesting to see where the Vikings go um, from there. So, the New York Giants are terrible. They shouldn't have paid Daniel Jones. They should have. This is the only time where you choose the the running back. Um, financially wise, you choose the running back and say Colin Barkley over the quarterback. They chose the quarterback, which is what you normally do. You choose the quarterback, but in this case, they shouldn't have chose the quarterback. They made the wrong decision. They're going to be terrible for a while. Um, if they get the number one pick and try to draft Shadour, I fully expect Dion to not let him go there. Just like Archie Manning didn't let Peyton Manning or Eli Manning go to the Chargers and we see what happened there. So uh, that be that would be funny poetry if that was the case, right? So because Eli was – y'all know, y'all know, y'all football fans. So, yeah, awful. They're they're terrible. The Eagles. Uh, Jalen Hurts, bro, you on the clock, do, You got to do something outside of Lane Kiffin, Frank Wright. And Nick Saban, like, um, you got to do something outside these three uh, Hall of Fame head coaches. And I know head coaches are important, but um, when you get paid all that money, um, and your center and Jason Kelsey retires, um, it's all on you now. And I'm sure Jalen Hurts has heard this. Jalen knows this. Who am I to tell Jalen what he already knows? You know what I mean? Um, but you got to do what you got to do, Jalen. Um, and I know you can do it. I know for sure you can do it. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see where they go from where they go from right now. It's because you go from getting to the Super Bowl and uh, not having a really good two seasons, I would suspect. Um, and the NFC has got better since um, you've been on like this downward trajectory. And you got to get better in, at defense. You got to get better at defense. Drafting those Georgia boys has not really worked out the way you wanted it to. So. Um, it remains to be seen. I think the Eagles will still be good, but um, this is all this is all predicated on what Jalen, um, what Jalen does this coming season. The 49ers. I don't really have anything to say with the 49ers, but you just have to finish and get over the hump. Are you, are you going to be the Bills, or are you going to be, what's another, what's the guy that finally that finally won? Or are you going to be the 2016 Cavaliers? I say that because. Um, the Bills lost four straight Super Bowls. They never recovered, never won anything. Um, LeBron, after trying so long and then went to Miami, finally came back and against all odds finally won for the city of Cleveland. Do you want to get over the hump or are you never going to get over the hump? And if they don't ever get over the hump, we have to call Kyle Shanahan for what he is. He's a great coach, but he can't win the big one. Um, I haven't heard people say that because people like Kyle Shanahan. But – we 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 gonna have to start calling that into question. 
Um, Kyle Shanahan is not coached well in these last like three Super Bowls. Now you can say he got Mahomes, but the twenty, but the twenty four three one for Atlanta when he was the offensive coordinator with Matt Ryan. That's still on your resume, bro. So you you have to. You got to win one. You got to win one. And I would prefer you win one against Mahomes because it would be ultimate redemption. But the, the point remains. So all I got to say for 49ers is get over the hump. Shout out to my friend who's a sort of 49ers fan. Like, um, he tunes in every couple of years and then be like, oh, I'm going to watch this year. Nigga, no, you're not. <laughs> but uh, the Bucks. I don't have anything to say about the Bucks. The Bucks are where the Rams was a few years ago where they won a Super Bowl and they paid all their guys and it worked out for them. And now they're kind of in the like, ah, we don't know what we're doing now. We're going to sign, blah, blah, blah. We're going to play hard, blah, blah, blah. Baker Mayfield looks really, really good. Um. Development is the name of the game for the Buccaneers. Development was what I said. Um, you played well at the beginning of the season and then you kind of tailed off. Um, development is the name of the game for them. Um, Washington, Jaden Daniels, it's a new day. Is this the answer that we finally wanted? You got uh, that terrible owner out of there. Magic Johnson and friends own the Washington Redskins now. Is this a new day for Washington or is it going to be more or less the same? Um, I'm, I'm picking Jaden to win the rookie of the year. Um, hopefully he wins it, as my PlayStation tells my controller died. It's a lot going on today, y'all. <laughs> but is this the new Washington Commanders or, or is this the same Washington, the R, the R word that they used to be called? Is it the same old, same old, or is this is a new day? This that all remains to be seen, and the same thing I said about Bryce. You gotta protect. You can see my ring light. You gotta protect Bryce. You have to protect Daniel, Jaden. I mean, Jaden. I don't care how well they can run. They're not gonna win anything if they don't have protect adequate protection. Adequate protection. Adequate protection. They're not gonna win anything. You gotta protect these boys. So. Um, that's the name of the game. New day, you gotta protect. Um, the Jets, Steelers, and Titans. So for the Titans, it's it's a whole. See what you got. This is one of those years you just see what you got. Um, is Will Levis the guy? Um, do you have what you need in the building? Is this coach? Is this coach the new coach as you're turning over a new leaf? Um, and pro- probably more or less going more offensively. They were. You know, they were an old school team. Mike Brable is an offense is the old school coach from the Belichick tree. What do you expect? They are just looking to see who wants to be here, who don't. It's essentially a tryout. That's all Tennessee is right now. And the you know, it remains to be seen what Tennessee will be. Um, the Steelers. The Steelers need to get over the hump, but in a different way. Um is Russell Wilson the answer? Is Russell Wilson the answer? Is Russell Wilson the answer? Is Justin Fields the future? Is Justin Fields the future? Is Mike Tomlin finally going to win um, another Super Bowl to solidify him as a great coach? He's already one of the greatest coaches ever. But um, that would nix all questions about him winning with his own players um, if he could win with this team. Now, I don't think they'll win with this team because I like the other two players in their division better, or the other two teams in their division better. But um, – that, t- that division is going to be so so competitive. But is it time for him to just get over that hump? Even though he won, he's won Super Bowls already. To get over that other hump. So, um, it remains to be seen. And the Jets, they're hoping Aaron Rodgers could be LeBron James in the, in the Olympics. That's what they're hoping. They hope he can be as good as LeBron is in the, is, as good as LeBron is in the Olympics. That's what they want from Aaron Rodgers as he's turning 40. So that's um that's it. So that's all I got for you guys. That's all 32 teams. I know it was a little crazy there. Um since you stayed to the end, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Probably my not my best video. I'm gonna be honest with you. But um we're getting in it. We're kicking the dust off, we're kicking the rust off, and um it's gonna be a grind until um February. So um 
Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys' teams are and what you guys think your record is going to be. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.